I'm going to give a quick example of how to use the OP1 drum utility that Steve Duda um, from Xfer created. Uh, this is the drum utility here, this section. Um, I've got alongside that a, a folder open with some samples and these samples um, are classic uh, kicks and hats. Classic in the sense of Dead Mouse uh, classic, not Wuthering Heights classic. Um, so I'm going to use these to create a drum kit just to have a look at the uh, section here, I've just got open a graphic of the standard format that's suggested for mapping the drum samples across the OP1. So you can see the kicks on the first two keys, then snares, claps, tambourines, some percussion, closed hat, uh, and then open cymbals, etc. etc. It's good to follow this um, format and uh, it allows some consistency with how you operate your kits in the OP1. This uh, example is on a Mac, so uh, the drum utility uh, is, is within its own VST um, standalone uh, container, but if you're working on a Windows PC, then you will need to use a VST container to open and start up the, uh, the utility. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear this, uh, this mapping that I've already got set up, uh, and I'm going to do that by pressing... Um, shift control or a shift command on a Mac and then just clicking on the samples and that clears the entire sample list. What I'm going to do is just drag uh, the folder, the entire folder that I, I uh, have the samples in into this and you can see that that maps um, the first 24 samples across the keys but what you can see here is that the duration is 18.85 seconds uh, this has turned red and now I don't have the option to export the AIF file. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look through here uh, and what you can see is that certainly uh, this is not mapped currently to the standard that uh, we want. So I'm going to actually move some of these samples around to first get the format right. Uh, and I'm going to do, do that by using Alt uh, and using the mouse to drag certain samples. So I'm going to drag the kicks to the first two keys and then I'm going to drag the snares up to that same uh, location. So let me just find the two classic snares. And then um, the clap we want in this key here so we can hear that the sample is actually mapped. So I'm just going to um, carry on moving some of these around to get the format um, better um, than it is by default. Okay, so you can see now I've got um, the kit more or less set up. I'm just going to leave these keys um, uh, blank. Um, just the other things that you can do, you can change the pitch of some of these samples. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but just to give an example. Um, you can change the pitch of the samples uh, prior to creating the AIF. Uh, you can change the um, whether it's in loop mode or runs till the end, um, forward and backwards, and you can change the level uh, for each one before you export to an AIF. Uh, I'm going to leave these as default settings. We now have got this. We've got this duration turned white, 11.88 seconds, which is within the 12 second limit for the OP1, and I'm going to do an export. Uh, AIF for OP1. And you can see now we've got the dialog box open. Uh, I'm actually going to save this in the same um, folder where I've got the samples. So if we just have a look on desktop um, and you can see the folder here, mouse kit, and I'm going to call it. Mouse kid. Save, and now you can see that we've got the AIF in the folder with all the samples mapped.
appropriately. So now that can be uh, transferred to the OPE-1 uh, and loaded as a uh, drum kit.